Hey everyone, it's me, Charmelane, and we're back on our Pokemon Platinum Wedlock Adventure. So, here's my team again. Ski, Gerardo, Bengal, Catabunga, and Cypress. They seem healthy. Let me check my items. Three potions, not bad. Oh. Well, let us continue. Last time we beat... Um, Cheddar. So now we're going to go and, you know, fight the gym. Eh. Hopefully it won't be extremely hard with the, because I have Huskigi, but still, you never know. So, I'm going to do some training as well. Um, uh, I'm a little scared. Do you think we'll I'll try going over here first. So last episode was basically a training episode. Most of the time we were training. We did fight Cheddar, all that. So, we got some stuff accomplished. We also got a Pokesh that you all cannot see, so... Oh well. I'm gonna switch Bingle and Catabunga up front. Hopefully I can get some levels on Bingle. Just in case. Because you got to train up your entire team. So, bingo, you tackle. Not bad. And this time I want everyone to go through the entire experience. So... If anyone doesn't want to see some training, you may want to skip, but this time I want to let you see me even train. So, Bingo's now level 4. Yay. And I'm just going to go to the Pokemon Center because I don't want to use a potion. Those things cost money and when I can simply just heal my Pokemon for free. to the root. And once Bingle's a few levels high, I can maybe try training my Calabunga. Because then I can just do switch training with Bingle and Calabunga. But right now, Bingle's too low level to be switching in all that. So... Charlie's being really annoying. Starleaf's really faster? Oh my goodness. Oh, that did like nothing. Can't escape. That sucks. Oh my god! No, I can't catch the thing. Potion. This is ridiculous. Oh no.
Well, that was an awful experience. My goodness, what kind of Starly was that? Did it have some IVs or something? Monster Starly. Gosh. Should I even keep training over there? Barely was able to get away from that thing. Oh my goodness. I'm already about to run away from this stupid thing because that bide. If you mess up on bide, it will it just can destroy you. Goodness. There we go, level two. It'll be so great when Ming learns an actual attack that gets stabbed, and wow, both of us missed. Yay, level 5. Learned Leer, not even attack. Oh well. At least I can lower defense with that, so it's not too terrible. Maybe it'll make training go by a little bit faster. So, everyone. What's your greatest thing that you want to see in Omega, um, Ruby and Alpha Sapphire? Those box arts kind of seem like Mega Evolutions or something. It just kind of looks neat. Maybe there'll be a uh, Mega Evolution for Rayquaza. Oh my god. What will 2B do? This time, we have Leer. Oh, wow. Goodness. Well, my goodness. Lear may be a naturally good move for training. No. My goodness, Spingle. So strong. Now I don't have to be so afraid. Go ahead and buy it all you want, Cricketot. I can just leer at you. And this is a good idea to get experience for Catabunga. Go ahead, keep storing. Tackle that thing. Really? Another critical hit? What is with this? 
Bingo! Save your critical hits for when we need them. Gosh. I think I'll get Bingo to level 7 and then we'll just continue on our journey. Because I do plan on fighting the gym, hopefully, if I have time. Oh my gosh, Starly, stop lowering my stats, you stinking bird. I think I'll go ahead and heal. Let's go ahead and go up a little bit. Because we're about to leave anyway, so... Might as well get close to Jubilife City. so much faster at this low level. So, we're actually pretty good for training when you're really low level and need to lower defense. And now Bingle is level 7, so now we can continue our journey and stop training. Because I don't have to really worry about Wurmple until I'm ready to train him. And I don't plan on using these two, but just in case if the worst is to come, then... I will need somebody that's strong enough to at least finish off the Gym Leader's final Pokemon. And in case you don't know, it's Cranidos. So, are you serious? Beedoof, you're not shiny. Get out of here. Leave me alone. I'm trying to get to the next gym. I'm not going to get my encounter on this route yet because I'm going to save it because the other only things on this route are basically um, Abras and stuff. And the thing is, I don't have the Pokeballs to catch that because if that Pokeball doesn't catch on the first try, it's going to use Teleport and it's going to be a waste of an encounter. So, basically, no. Let's just fight a few trainers, get a few more levels. And go ahead and catch our new team member in Orbort City's mine. I'm gonna growl this thing just in case it has any 
bites up its sleeve. And now I'm gonna switch. Are you serious? Well, Gerardo doesn't care about a bide. See, that's one of the reasons I'm not training Zubat right now. You saw how much that did on Gerardo. That is just such a weak move. Even if it heals. So, it would be really hard and difficult to train a Zubat. But, don't worry. When Zubat gets his partner, I can train the partner. And that way, that'll help me be able to train up Zubat. Now, let me get this football. It may be just an antidote or paralyze heal or paralyze heal. Nope, it's a Pokeball, actually. Wow, the Pokeball was actually a Pokeball. Who would have known? Who would have known? Anyway. Oh, so this guy has a Shinx. Um, shouldn't have any electric type moves, because mine doesn't, so. But mine isn't level 8, so what do I know? Best I can do is bubble this thing. Hope it goes. Oh my gosh, that was weak. Lower my defense. What is he about to do? Bubble is so weak. Even if it's water. I wonder what. Wait. When will I get water done? Critical hit, wow, really, that was just overkill. Geeky's now level 11. And learned water sport, not water gun. But at least that boosts, I think, water... Wait, no. Water sport, I think that just weakens fire type moves. Which is stupid on a water type because it's already fire's already weak. No! Oh. Dupe claws. Can't catch this. Oh my gosh. Well, you guys, that was one of my five chances there. Just remember, that's about four chances left or so. So, wow, Machop. It would be nice to get a Machop, but one problem. Then I can't get another Pokemon that would be really good. Wing attack that thing. Almost leveled up. Oh well. Does she want to even battle? Oh, she does. Beedoof. Don't tell me she's a Beedoof trainer. Hey, that actually did a good amount. Oh, buddy.
You know something funny? Gerardo and Huskiki actually go with each other because they're bird. Well, they're both birds. That's kind of neat. They're actually a couple that works. Ooh, a Starly. Do I want to have a Starly battle? See which Starly is better. Hmm. Nope. My Starly's hurt. Sorry guys, my camera went weird. Probably gonna have to combine these two videos or something. Oh well. So, oh, as far as level limits go, I'm not doing, oh wow, that girl has some far vision. Uh, well, anyway, I'm not doing a level limit, but the thing is, I don't want to be too over leveled, so. I'm not gonna, I don't want to over, really over level for these gems, because that'll be cheating, basically. But if I do get over level, oh well, it doesn't matter. Did I really just bubble a fighter? It's super effective. No, it isn't. Anyway. Go, oh, Gerardo. We beat Madeline. Well, let's go ahead and get off of this route. Um. Heal Gerardo. And, let's go. And this random stranger is gonna give us a HM Rock Smash. Really? Look at that. Is Pound really about as strong as Bubble?
Bubbles. So basically, it makes no sense to give a water type the move water sport because it well I guess it makes sense but it just doesn't seem right to use ever because water types already resist fire. Now what would have been neat is if they gave them a move that helps them resist electric a little bit better. That would have been neat. Or at least resist grass a little. That would have actually been useful. But oh well. Gerardo handle this. That way, Husky, you won't get too far over level. Goodness, critical hit. Borg City! Howdy, trainer! Huh? Uh-oh! You don't have a single gym badge, you noob! Anyway, let us go and let you get a gym badge, boy. Oh, hey, there's Cheddar. Hi, Cheddar. Oh my gosh, did you really turn around? Oh, you heard his name. Everyone, Cheddar knows his name. Let's go to the Pokemon Center. Because we can. Like I said, I'm not going up on that upper route because even though Machop would be nice to have, there is a Pokemon that I want to get because if I go up above Orvert City, I'll be in a new route that is also the same route when you leave um, Eternal City. And there's a Pokemon there I want to get. So I'm not going to go up there yet. Instead, let me check my Pokeballs. I got seven. I'll buy a few more, just in case we run into an Onyx, and this thing's like probably going to be a hard thing to catch. Just in case. I should have a few dollars. I can buy nine, that's not bad. I'll buy three Pokeballs, and I can buy four potions. I'll buy one potion. There we go. Things can be so scary when you're trying to train up, like, a Pokemon that's weak and stuff and has a weak partner. Because, like, for example, my, um, my Shinx thing is, oh, there's a heart scale there. The thing is, what my shrinks is like, who knows what these trainer might have, so it's hard to decide to use him, because it may have a Geodude or something that'll just take all my tackles and murder my Pokemon, and that's just mean. And I can't really use my other Pokemon that's tied with Shinx, because it's a stinking Wormful, which isn't bad, but really isn't good for right now. Boy, Gia, dude, I can catch it. For Cypress, should I pound it? I'm pounding it, and it's tackling me, getting hit by our little bitty mud rock with arms, mud sport. Weakens electric type. You see, that is so useless. Now, that weakens electric type, wouldn't it be nice for Peskiki to have that? Instead of Geodude, who's immune to electric types? Because he's part ground type? So ridiculously weird. Oh well. 
Now, if it works on, like, a team basis, where, like, if it's a double battle, then I could see the use in that a little bit. Like, because if you have a partner that's a water type, and you don't want it to get hurt that much by a legendary type move, if it works for both Pokemon, then that makes sense. That's actually kind of good. But if it's just for that one Pokemon, that's so ridiculous. And you guys just saw my stylus. See, rock ground. You guys, give me a second to think of a name. Well, and by think, I mean look up something and then give it a name. Okay, guys, I'm back. I've come up with a name. His name's from the um, Australian Silky Terrier. I'm, and since it's called a Terrier, I'm going to name him. Give me a second. Tyrone. Let me check Tyrone. Um, Naughty Nature boosts attack. That's not bad at all. Rockhead prevents recoil. Tyrone's actually pretty good. I may use him. So, we got Tyrone. Nice. Let's see what this item is. A Pokeball. Guess that replaces the Pokeball I used. Now I have a Pokemon that actually helped me train up on um, Tipris. Run away from these Geodude. Run away. Zubat, I cannot catch you, and I'm glad I didn't have to catch you again, because I wouldn't be able to anyway. Let's continue our journey. All you mining people in the mine working, ignore the little kid walking through everything. Just ignore him and act like he's not here right now, as he walks and picks up your stuff that you're leaving around on the ground. And then I get attacked by a Pokemon. Stupid Zubat! Okay, stand back. Watch this. Using the hidden move Rock Smash, boulder blocking your way. Fallen boulders need to be smashed so they're out of the way. If you could get the badge from the gym in town, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me. Well, there's the gym leader. Rorg. So, we have an escape rope. Let's see if there's anything up here. No. Why can't they just let me go up there to get out? But I'm using this escape rope. I do not want to run into more wild Pokemon. Now watch as I spin until I drill a hole out of this cave. And right onto the concrete up here. Wow, I'm better than Excadrill. Oh wait, he doesn't exist yet. Never mind. This is... This is Sinnoh. Fourth gen, not fifth gen. Finally got a full team, guys! <laughs> it would be so nice if Rock Smash was able to be forgotten like it is now, usually. Oh well! You guys, I'm gonna check and see what level Rourke's gem is. That way I'll know if I'm too overleveled or too underleveled, but if I really don't want to be underleveled against him, that could just be awful, so give me a second. Okay, you guys, it turns out I am underleveled. His highest level Pokemon is level 14. Oh my goodness. Well, I can train off of these guys. Is Gigi ready to level up? 
You have waited a long way around? Let's see why you do that. So I can train and beat Rorg without any casualties. Because my main Pokemon in this, um, team, this battle is Huskiki, and boy, oh my goodness. Well, at least that gave me a bunch of EXP. Good thing this isn't 5th gen, with these, like, with Pokemon with Sturdy, oh my gosh. That would, just, that would be just so annoying. Yay, his Geeky's now leveled up for the gym. Onyx! Let's see how well his Geeky does against an Onyx. Bubble that thing! Whoa! Skiki does amazing against an Onyx, considering the fact he killed it in one hit with Bubble. I'm gonna go buy one more potion, heal, and go ahead and let's fight the gym leader. I'm Rourke, the gym leader. I am but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock-type Pokemon. As the gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. And I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon at battle with you. Versus Rourke. Rourke. You're challenged by Leader Rourke. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You know what, first up, I'm going to give myself a dire hit, because if there is a chance where I can get a critical hit, that just might save my life. So, Skiggy's getting pumped. Okay, let's go for Bubble. See what I mean? Critical hit. And we're level 15. Remember, my level limit is not gonna be like, just plain gotta be level 14 right now. It's a soft level limit. I think I'll keep Pound, Bubble... I literally have no reason to keep water sport. Let's 
straight up with Onyx, and at least he didn't go for the Cranny Dose yet. Bubble. Oh, no, well, actually, go ahead and do the Stealth Rock. I don't need to switch. Here we go, guys. This thing. I'm gonna go off with a growl. Because this thing. Oh god. Oh. oh my gosh, this thing has so much attacks that it isn't funny. I'm gonna go ahead and heal. But hopefully that growl should have lowered it just a little bit. So. Maybe we can survive. I'm gonna growl again. Oh my gosh, that thing's faster too. I'm so growling. I'm gonna heal again. His attack stat has been... Taking a bark. Bubble time. Still is pretty powerful. You know, I'm gonna go for a pound. Gosh. Use a potion on uh, Skihi. You know what, guys? I got an idea. I'll go for one more pound and then a bubble because I really. What the world? Well, never mind, guys. I am going straight up for a bubble. Oh my god! He had to get a crit. He had to get a crit. Oh god. This just got difficult. Oh, this just got difficult. What am I gonna do? Check moves, return. Uh, physical, wing attack, physical. This is difficult. Return! Oh, he's trying to lower my defense. This sucks. This really stinks. Oh, this sucks. That wasn't even a critical hit! Is this the end already? Guys, it looks like it's over. That's it. Unless Terra can pull off a miracle, which I don't see happening. Why doesn't it have Earthquake? Ugh.
that's it, you guys. Now, that just really sucks. Oh my gosh. That cranny dose had to pull off the critical hit. If it didn't pull off that critical hit, I probably had a chance here. No, I should have taught someone Rock Smash. I really should have. This is my fault. It's not over with yet, though. Now, I got an idea. I remember I saved that route up ahead. And I remember I saved a route inward. That really sucks. Goodbye, guys. Hmm. Seriously sucks. You know what, guys, though? I'm going to use these few encounters to help me, kind of. So there I go. I may or may not have found encounters in here already. I don't think I did, so... Gonna go ahead and catch my Pokemon for this area. Doesn't matter if it's a boy or a girl, my team's dead, so... Is there a Pokemon in it? There we go. Well... I don't think there's really a lot left to catch in here, except, you know... Maybe I can catch Golduck, so I think I'm gonna count this as... You know what, guys? I don't... I need to see if I can catch Gold... Well, no. Fight up in here, because if I can, then I'll count this as Duke's Claws. But if I can't, I have to catch this, so give me a second. Okay, guys, I'm back, and from what I can tell, yes, you can catch Psyduck here, so Duke's Claws. Cloth again. Dupes Cloth again. Are you serious? Go back, do that, go away. Dupes claws again. <gasps> oh my gosh, side up. Oh, we kind of side up. It's a girl, so... Look at my cat names for girls, real quick. Give me a second. Okay, guys, got a name. 
I'm going to name her Vermilla. So we have a new member already. Now, Route 203. Um, I think I can get Abras here. Um, however, I don't think I can. Well, you know what? I can only try. I remember I had ran into an encounter here before, but it, I think it counted as Dupe's Claw, so couldn't catch it. Well, let's see what I can get. Shinx is Dupe's Claws. Again, so that's Dupe's Claws. Can't catch it, but I do have an idea. Here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go get myself a fishing rod and try to catch a Magikarp. Then I can evolve it into a Gyarados. Oh, wait. That would be over leveled. But if it comes to that, I will if I must. So, I'm going to get a fishing rod. If I must succumb to using Gyarados, then I will succumb to using Gyarados. No! Hopefully, it won't have to succumb to that. Hopefully, Golduck can do it. Well, fight up. Be so nice when I get a bicycle. So we already got two dupes clauses, I think, so here we go. I want anything bite. Gosh, the old rod is terrible. That's the name. Oh my goodness, is there even anything in this water? Goodness. You know, I'm gonna move a little. Sorry, guys. Camera again. Don't worry. I'm just gonna have to rewind this as well. Anyway. Oh my gosh! We got a Pokemon! Yay! No. Dupes Claws again. That was the third Dupes Claws, guys. Well, not Dupes Claws, more like Gender Claws. Because the Pokemon we just caught is a girl, so...
Especially with the old rod is so hard. Goodness. Finally. Hey, it's a guy. There we go. Well, there we go. That was easy. Let me think of a name for this guy. Give me a second. Okay, guys, got an idea of a name? Here we go. His name's after the Blue Healer. And I'm gonna name him... Blue, because he's a fish. Logic. This is just science, guys. When he evolves, he will be blue, so it makes even more sense now. So after that devastating defeat, we have Bramilla. Water, mild nature, boost, special attack, really good. Damp prevents self-destruction, so I don't have to worry about explosions. Swift swimming thing with the ability, what's this ability? Hardy nature. So, not bad. Swift swim. Well. Well, we got our new team. See you guys on the next episode of my Pokemon Platinum Woodlock. It may be a lot of training.